From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Here's a look at your top stories. I'm Erin Connolly. And I'm Mark Zinni. All state employees and teachers must be vaccinated now by September 27th. Governor Lamont made that announcement during a COVID briefing on Thursday. Long term care employees and state employees in hospitals must get the vaccine in order to work. State employees who don't work in hospitals, K-12 teachers and staff and early childhood staff are also required to get their dose or they will need to get tested once a week. I think the vaccine mandate is necessary now because I see what's going on in Louisiana, Mississippi, uh, Florida and in Oregon and Alaska and Israel. So um, I just thought that um, the more people who are vaccinated, the less targets there are for Delta or the next generation of variant to find um, a willing um, receptacle. I think it keeps us so much safer. And let's face it, we tried a lot of incentives. The vaccination rate was uh, not going up the way it should. And I want to keep our state employees safe. I want to keep our teachers safe. And I thought now's the time to do it. Medical or religious exemptions can be requested. Firefighters across the state saying goodbye to one of their own. 26 year old Colin McFadden, a volunteer Burlington firefighter, died in the line of duty last week. He collapsed while responding to a massive fire in New Hartford. And while in the hospital, doctors discovered he had a rare form of leukemia. Hundreds of firefighters, family members, and friends were in Bristol for his funeral. Flooding all across the state as the remnants of Tropical Storm Fred dropped several inches of rain Thursday morning. This was the scene in Hartford on Homestead Ave. Several cars got stuck after trying to make their way through the water. Uh, neighbors say the conditions were especially difficult, even though this part of the city is prone to flooding. All right, we are going to end the week on a quiet note. Friday is going to be partly sunny, warm and humid. Temperatures well up in the 80s in many parts of the state. I can't rule out a shower, but most of the state will be dry. The same is true for Saturday. A slight chance for a shower or a storm, then a rising chance for rain and maybe breezy conditions Sunday afternoon into Sunday night as we uh, track uh, what will become Hurricane Henri. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, there is the potential for a short heat wave.